You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby There's Bella Girl all ready to go <laughs> Here we go Getting ready to go on our first RV trip ever Pretty sure we packed the entire house. What do you think? I'm ready to move. Let's sell the house. <laughs> That's the problem with storage. You have so much of it, you want to take everything. So I think that we did take everything. Whoops. We'll learn. Um, so we're getting ready to go grab some lunch and then we're going to hit the road probably about 16 hours to St. Augustine. Where we might. What are we doing over there? We're looking at a wedding venue. <laughs> You're excited too, Bella? She's stoked. <laughs> yeah, so we found a place in St. Augustine that we might get married at and we're gonna go check it out. We have a meeting tomorrow at one, so we have to get on the road. So we'll check back in later. Bye. I'm a little embarrassed because of all the videos that we've watched and all the refrigerators that I've seen fly open, I told myself, that is not gonna happen to me. All you gotta do is make sure that your fridge clicks when you shut it and stuff's not gonna come flying out of it when you're on the road. So we stopped to see our friend Sandy on our way uh, on the road, just grab something to eat real quick. And I put Josh's leftovers in the fridge, didn't think anything of it. 20 minutes on the highway, Fridge flew wide open, stuff fell out. Thankfully, all my stuff was like really tightly closed. Not a huge mess whatsoever, but so maybe what I'm thinking is, is you aren't officially RVing until your fridge flies open with food falling out of it. So we are cleaned up back to um, just moving forward. Wind got better road is actually great. Um, Bello seems pretty comfortable. <laughs> She's having a great time so um, check in a little later let you know how things are going but so far so good. Just beginner stuff. We'll talk to you later. Great part about having a bathroom on board is that you don't have to stop as often except Poor Bella girl doesn't have a bathroom. So we had to stop and allow her to go potty. It was good, nice to get out in the rain, snow, walk the dog. Uh. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. Good morning from St. Augustine. Good morning. We made it. We had an awfully windy trip. It was a little scarier than we would have liked, but we got here. Um, we love our campsite. We are all hooked up. Uh, it was a lot easier than I thought. We'll have a video of how everything kind of looks later, but it is really nice here. People are friendly. We had people escort us to our spot. Um, and help us back in. We got hooked up and we love it here. Yeah, it's beautiful, great weather. Um, heading into downtown St. Augustine to check out some sites. Look at where we might be getting married. Yep. And we'll let you know how that goes. Yeah. So our bike broke down. <laughs> we, bought, we bought a tandem bike, uh, which has been great. We used it yesterday in St. Augustine after we got there. 
took Bella in a little trailer around. Um, it's awesome because it's foldable and so it fits under the RV really well. So that was ideal and we can hitch that trailer to the back of it, which is perfect for Bella. But we had we, a, lot, a lot of people that really liked to see Bella in there too. Which is she awesome. She was popular yesterday. Yeah. Um, so we, we decided we were going to unhitch Bella, have her just cool down, hang out in the camper and go to the first Friday that's here in St. Augustine on the first Friday of every month. And on our way there, it's just about a little over a four mile bike ride and about a mile in, somebody goes, hey, you have a flat, which I don't really understand how I didn't notice <laughs> that there was a flat right under my seat. But we did in fact have one, could have easily ran over glass or something like that on the sidewalk that we didn't notice. So we had a nice, walk back it was still daylight out luckily nice walk back to the camper and just chilled out totally missed first friday but i'm i trust and i'm sure that that is an awesome thing to go enjoy downtown is already great so adding art things and live music to that just makes it better so and now it's day two and we're uh, we had breakfast walked bella um we're we're Attempting to get an Uber because the bike is broke down. <laughs> <laughs> I might try to fix that later so we can go back in tonight. Yeah. But we're waiting on an Uber and it's about a 20 minute, 20 minute wait. hiatus. So we're gonna yeah. wait here and talk to you for a minute. So just part of the adventure. It's not gonna stop us from going and enjoying anything, thankfully for Uber, but uh, we just thought we'd check in and say, this is the stuff that happens. This is probably why most of the RV living people have some other form of transportation. <laughs> which we attempted, <laughs> which was a tandem bike, but... Otherwise we would have to unhook and take the RV back and bring it back and hook back up. Which yeah. isn't impossible, it's actually relatively easy, but just a little bit of an annoyance, so yeah. Ubering it is. Ubering it is, we are going to go check out the free tasting at the distillery and the free tasting at the winery. And there's apparently a couple awesome taco places and a gourmet, yeah, tacos, and a gourmet um, popsicle place called Hippo. How cool is that? Um, so we're gonna go have some fun in the sun today. That broken tandem isn't gonna stop us. Then we're gonna come back and visit Bella in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. If you search, you shall find. And we found tacos. You ready to eat? I'm so ready to eat. That was a long walk over the St. Augustine Bridge or the Lion Gate Bridge. Two Mojo's tacos. Let's go see if their tacos are worth the walk. <laughs> I'm sure they will be. Good reviews. We'll get one more picture of the sign for you. Taco Vida. So everything is double decker, so there's a hard shell in the inside the soft shell that has avocado in there. It's my black beans and rice. This is the cilantro sauce to go in my stuff. Here's the tofu right here, some ground, seasoned ground tofu. Looks just like meat. I know it, but that looks amazing. Here is a beef, nice ground beef taco. And chicken. Let's dig. So we're here at Mojo Tacos in St. Augustine, and I just have a quick tip for you. Most people will already think to do this, but just while it's on the brain, whenever you get a meal that gives you some kind of side dressing or condiment or something that comes in something like this and you don't finish it, take it back to the RV with you. You will use it again. They've already prepped it and made it delicious for you. So this is my leftover taco, lime, cilantro, yummy vinaigrette. I'm gonna take it back for tacos I make later because Lord knows I probably won't make it this good, but I have some left, I'm gonna take it back. So just a heads up, anytime you're somewhere where they have a free condiment and you didn't use it all, take it back, enjoy it later. Peace. Well done. 
done? I'm done. Well, then you want me to hit the button? It.